Google Merchant Center setup tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video I am going to be telling you how you can set up your Google Merchant account. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what you want to do is you want to just simply search for Google Merchant Center or just Google Merchant and it'll come over here. It'll take you over to Google for retail. You can even come over here, google.com slash retail. And over here, you can quickly go ahead and set it up. So what this will allow you to do is this will allow you to set up your business like so. So if someone searches for a specific type of product, it'll show up like this on a map, on a YouTube video, in shopping section of Google, and even in the Google images section. So click on start now. You can click on start now and sign up easily since this is going to be a Google account. You can go ahead and sign up. I've already created an account. So let me just switch my Google account and show you how you can create one. And then we'll come back to this one and show you how you can set up everything. Because as you can see, I've already set up a few of these things. All right. So in this account, we're going to click on start now. Okay. On this account, I'm going to click over here. I switch the accounts. And when you click on, you know, get started on this button, it's going to take you over here onto this page and basically ask you about your business. So go ahead and tell Google about your business. Do you sell products online? Do you have a physical store? Yes. And you can add your store's website. No, I do not have a physical store. So I'm going to click on no. The type of online stores are eligible. So make sure you add your website. For now, I'm just simply going to add youtube.com and click on continue. And here you're going to go ahead and set up your product. So show your products on Google for free, uh, where your products will be shown, what you need. All right. You need an online store and products, not services, All right? Click on continue to merchant center. And there you go. Now you just set up your basic information, like enter in your business information, business name, registered country, and continue to merchant center. So I'm going to go with, but butter and over here, we'll leave that as it is. If you want to get personalized email notifications and tip, then click on these buttons, but I do not want to. So I'm going to skip that and click on continue to merchant. And after that, you're basically done. After that, it's going to take you back over here where you can go ahead and set up your uh, products, right? You can add your business address, confirm your online store and business and details, and, you know, show your shipping products, add your return policy and add your products. So we're going to go through all of this and then we'll move on. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to add some products. We're going to click on add products and we're going to click on add or remove countries. Uh, you can select the countries that your product will be shown in, right? Countries where you want Google to show your product. So select that country and click on next. After that, you can see add a product from a file, which is going to be automatically updated. Use Google Sheets or add products one by one. It totally depends on you. Uh, for now, we have this one, add products from a file. If you have a file, you can upload it. But since I don't have a file, I'm going to click on this button and click on continue. I'm going to add them one by one. I'm going to add a couple of products and then skip. But yeah, product details, titles, brands, descriptions, and then drag and drop your images. So I'm going to go ahead and browse them. All right, so they've been added. So now I'm going to click on add. There we go. So here we go. This is going to be the main image. I don't know. No, wait, this should not be the main image. There should be more products. I uploaded a couple of them. I think we should, I should upload them again. I don't know. Maybe I should do them one by one. Oh no, this is going to take some time. All right, so I added a couple of photos. I think that looks good. I'm going to click on save and now I'm going to add the product details. Like this is going to be a white sneaker and... This is the link. Sorry, this is the link. I'll just skip that. I'll, I'll place the title over here since it's my own brand. So I'll add my own brand name down below. We can add a description of the product, but we'll skip that for now. I think we do need that, but you know, I'll just add that. And after that, you can set up your price condition and availability. So product type is going to be shoes or sneakers and select the category you can see right here we have a bunch of different categories uh it should be underneath apparel right shoe accessory no shoes there we go and condition is going to be new and then you can set the product price so we'll just say 65 dollars in stock and if it's on sale you can go with let's say 50 dollars and you can add like a date range it's going to be between march 1st and maybe to march 5th there we go. You can add the product, SKU, language, everything else. And once that's done, just simply click on save and product will be created successfully. There you go. So this is going to be your product. Now we can just simply go ahead and add some other options like shipping and traffic and other things. But for now, we can close that up. We have created a product. Now we just need to add a few more details and we should be good to go. After that, you can add some more options as well. And as you can see, I've already done most of these things over here. 
So one things you have to do is you can add business address if you have a physical address. If not, you can leave it as it is. Uh, you can also add returns added, shipping added. These can generally be you know added to your own store depending upon where you live. I just copied whatever Shopify had, placed them over here like shipping and return policies. And once that was done, it was good to go. I actually connected my Shopify store with this. So if you click on products, I should be able to see it, even though my Shopify store has been closed it, but I guess uh, it's been removed. Yeah, but that's fine. You can go ahead and set it up later. Next is to confirm your online store and all your business. So if you click on confirm, you're going to set up or send you a link over here, right? You got to enter in your link. If you are using one of the following options, you have to add your tag, right? So basically, if you use your e-commerce platform like Shopify, WooCommerce and stuff like that, click on the Shopify button. You got to add the meta tag over here. Now, this is a little bit difficult because if you're using Shopify, it won't register the HTML files, even though I've tried it. In other, you know, websites like Wix and maybe BigCommerce, it'll work, but not in Shopify. So it's a little bit tricky. So you can deal with that or you can use the Google Analytics to verify your online store which both works, even the Google Tag Manager will work on Shopify, but if you were adding a HTML tag, that won't work. So it's quite simple. You just simply click on it, go to Shopify, to the App Store, and you can download the application. And then you can go ahead and download it and sign in. And once you come over here, you can just simply click on Google Analytics. So make sure that you have edit permission on Google Analytics accounts. Make sure that the Google Analytics tracking code is in the head section and click the verify below button. And once that's done, you should be good to go. So it's everything is a little bit simpler and tricky, but once that's done, you should be good to go. I've already showed you how you can add products over here. Uh, setting up sales stacks. This is, of course, going to be different, but once everything is done, all that's left for you to do is just run your ad campaign, right? If you come over here on the ad campaign section at the bottom, you can click over here and you can run your ad campaigns through Google Ads. So once that ad account is connected, you can click on create a campaign and add billing details as well. Click on create a campaign and set up a whole campaign like a budget, you know, name of the campaign and everything. And once that's done, you can just let it run. And then once everything is done, Whenever someone search for the product that, you know, is resembles your product, let's say white sneakers on Google, your product will be shown at number one, like those ads that we saw earlier. So just simply go ahead and fill this out as well and then click on create campaign. So I'll just add $2, even though that's still quite a lot, but so I'll just add and then we'll click on continue. And over here, once that's done, we can see a campaign has been created. After that, we can set up the details and then we should be good to go. After that, we can let it run. And then over here underneath analytics, we can see all the summary, the product, all the sections that are going to be available over here. We can see all the analytical data right here. So there you go. Pretty simple. This is how you do it. This is how you set up your Google merchant account on Google. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.